a limit day. One, two, three, four, a limit day. <laughs> My name is Elizabeth and I'm a receptionist at a health club. Working at the gym is the best place to meet men because you've got hotties coming in every day. I've been playing basketball for about seven years and I'm actually a really competitive person. I would make the perfect girlfriend because I have a feminine side, but at the same time, I can enjoy sports just as much as a guy. A limit day. <laughs> I chose Paradise Point because it's one of the most beautiful places here in San Diego. Plus, it's a good way for me to get a little glimpse of the guys in their swimsuits and a little one-on-one -on -one interaction with some basketball. Uh, during round one, it's going to be all about the three Bs. I have brains, brawn, and basketball. If I'm trying to pick up a girl or a woman, uh, I just slip in that line that I play soccer and it's, it's all over. My name is Josh and I'm a management science major at UC San Diego. Nice to meet, nice you. To meet you. I would have to say the perfect wave is like the perfect woman. You know, when you catch one, you just don't want to let it go. My name's Aaron. I'm a surfer here in San Diego. Hey, Aaron. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I think Elizabeth's beautiful. I think she seems like a really nice girl. She seems like she's got her head on straight. I'll give you three words why I make the perfect boyfriend. Cut, color, and style. My name is Damien, and I'm a hairdresser. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Damien. Damien, nice to meet you. Damien. Nice to meet you. Here, got you oh, a little something right there. You. She was taller than I am, so it kind of was intimidating. I'm not the kind of guy to wine and dine you. I prefer long walks on the beach than $400 bottles of champagne. My name is Taylor, and I'm a professional BMX stunt rider. So, fellas? Yeah, really? Yeah. These are, these are for you, thank and you. these are for you guys. Oh, I appreciate hey, it, you, man. Bro. I uh -huh. get the red one, huh? Right on. Dude. Didn't want you to leave. Oh, I'm empty-handed. Whatever. You know, so, flowers are nice and all, but I'd like you to have mine because, oh, you know, I, I don't really like holding flowers, so. I'd like to give mine to you too. Oh, just take that off. Are you just gonna follow through or what? You gotta keep yours, man. <laughs> keep it. Huh? Yeah. Be a soldier. He's probably gonna hang it upside down and put it in the frame, hopefully, to remember his eliminate experience. Cool. You guys wanna take a little walk? Yeah. yeah. Right. So where are you from now? Uh, I go to San Diego State University. Okay. What year are you? Fourth year. Oh, okay. So I've been around a while. And I'm, I'm originally from Berkeley. Oh really? How about yourself? I am originally from Germany. Germany? Yes. Um, I can tell by what the accent. Germany? The accent, oh yeah, yeah. thick accent. <laughs> Being that she's from Germany originally, like that obviously plays an important role in like what she looks for in a guy. Will you hold these for yeah. me, please? I did. So I got the, these are. Hold on, real quick. Oh, real quick. Let me explain right. it. Okay, this here, this is the breathing holes. Uh huh. All right. Uh -huh. Oh. It's a gerbil. Uh, yeah. Oh. Watch it. Here you go. Voila. Oh. There you go. It's a, it's a rock. Uh huh. <laughs> and then uh, flip it rock. over. And then I got today's date. Oh, he grew up, he raised it from, from, a, from a child. Bringing a rock, can you say dumb as a rock? Kind of might have weirded her out a little bit. Word to the wise, the only rock a girl wants is a diamond. That was the type of gift that I was looking for, something that shows ingenuity, um, creative, and I just, you know, I thought it was a great idea. I think we're gonna play some yeah. water basketball. Water basketball? Yeah. Let's do it. You ready? All right. All, right. All right. After we first got acquainted, I took the guys over to the pool. We sat down, had a couple of drinks, and got to know each other a little bit more. So do you speak any other languages or anything Yeah, like I speak that? German. Do you? Yeah. And it's cool. you guys? Yeah, uh, it's my first language. A couple words. Yeah, let's hear it. Let's hear it. Oh, the gates? Yeah, yeah exactly. Me and it's good. I really don't think Damien spoke a word of German in his whole life. I speak yeah. Ebonic. Yeah. Oh, you speak Ebonic? Yeah. Let's hear it. Let's hear some. Ebonics. What y'all getting into? You know, we just post it up, you know, Max and Relax. <laughs> Saying that I speak Ebonics and like blurting out some random stuff, like just showed like his uh, immaturity. I felt like that kind of offended her a little bit and kind of showed his mentality a little bit. I mean, it's a reverse Rodney King going on right there because I think you just made a lot of people mad, Taylor. And what's oh. your degree in again? Economics. Okay. Oh, yeah. oh, what are you doing now? I'm taking a year off. I'm going to go back for my master's in psychology. Okay. I'm really interested in quantum physics and wow. psychoneuroimmunology. Psycho Wait, um, I can't even pronounce that. Elizabeth is an intelligent girl. She's a study girl. Uh, she's graduated from college, and so Taylor just might not be quite hitting her intellect level. I went Can to I get school. You the okay. Um, I think I'm gonna go for orange juice and cranberry. Cranberry, cranberry okay. orange juice. Cranberry. Yeah. You guys, got a rum and coke. Oh, That'd be great. Here for the liquor. Yeah. Uh, can I have a bottle of Cristal? <laughs> I don't have that. Taylor's probably never had Cristal. Taylor couldn't even afford a good haircut. I, I mean, what's the deal? So why don't you guys tell me a little bit about your ex-girlfriends? What happened? Why'd you guys break up? 
You know, I think I would have to say I probably smothered my last relationship Did out, you? you know, because I'm a little too much, like, too caring uh -huh. sometimes, you know. Aaron said that he was really smothering, which to me puts up a big red flag. Like what, do you, I, what do you mean by too caring? I don't know. I paid too much attention to her. I called her a little too mm -hmm. much, I think, uh, you know. I, I think yeah, I kind of put yeah, out the yeah. flame by, you know, yeah. sure. by, you like by putting on the heat a little Thank bit. You. But, you know, I, I've learned from my mistakes and I've learned that, you know, people mm -hmm. need to have their own separate ways and mm -hmm. have their own separate times and trust each other. It seems like the guy's got a heart of glass. He's pretty much a sap in my eyes. Like a couple of months ago, we broke up, and it was, it was more or less because it was different religions, not to like bring that up, because mm -hmm. I know, you know, What's those... What's your religion? Um, I'm Catholic. Catholic? Thanks, uh -huh. so pretty recently, so. two months ago. Yeah. Uh-huh, yeah, it was fairly recent. Right? Like so, you guys had a conflict of religion? Yeah, and that just, it just stepped in the way, um, just because hers was, was so what is drastically hers? different, Jehovah Witness. Oh, wow. So, mm -hmm. you know, uh, yeah, it was, it was just right to me. Did you knock on your door? Mm, no, <laughs> dude. I smell white trash from that guy. So if I were to meet any one of your exes, what would they say is like your best and worst quality? Ooh, I'm a Bronco. A bro Bronco fan? <laughs> no, I'm a Bronco. Oh, I was like a Bronco fan, woo! <laughs> but you know, sometimes I could be a pony. Maybe that's some kinky sex talk between him and his ex-girlfriend. Well, I think he's a pony all the time, if you ask me. All right, guys, so I brought you here today to play a little water basketball. Um, so why don't we get to it? All right, that's good. Thank you. I'm gonna run. Ooh, water feels great. <laughs> Waiting on you. Looks like you're kind of pulling kind of hard on yeah. your hair there for being a hairdresser. You know she's what? Looking like she's in yeah, you gotta have to relax right there because there's a lot of people Ouch. just watching me. She looks like she's in agony. <laughs> kind of I'm not agony. Sure. No, I'm okay. Beautiful. Yeah. Look at that. Okay. Right. Beautiful well, I thought that, you know, kind of formed a basis for a connection between the two of us. JPEG that guy's so sappy, he's all over. Like, he said he smothered his last relationship. Well, he's already smothering Elizabeth, and they've known each other 20 minutes, you know, so. I think Damien should definitely stay away from the sports and go back to the hairdressing. He elbowed me twice in the ear. He hit me pretty hard. He must want it pretty bad, I tell you that. He was a little bit touchy-feely. I think he might be uh, a switch hitter. Up next, one of these guys will be eliminated. Can you guess who's gonna go first? I really think Taylor's gonna get cut. I don't want him to, but I think that's gonna be a decision Elizabeth makes. You know what? Here's my cut right here, Taylor. Aaron's gotta be the first one to go because he's just too affectionate, too loving, too caring and too savvy. Taylor's gonna get cut. Uh, I don't know how he made it here in the first place. A limited day. <laughs> Who will be the first cut? Aaron, Taylor, Damien, or Josh? I had a really good time today. Um, you guys are all great. I am dreading this part though because I am have to eliminate one of you and um, Taylor, it's gonna be you. I just think we're at different points in our lives in terms of Dating, I don't, I don't think so right Definitely, now. Definitely, I understand. Yeah. I didn't think there was a connection there in the first place. I wasn't really drawn to her. I cut Taylor in round one because he's a little too childish for me. He's, he's still a boy. Elizabeth made the right decision about cutting Taylor because she didn't cut me. I know that I'm a fun guy, I've got lots of friends, so if she wants to end up with the boring, monotonous type of guy, that's her decision and she's entitled to it. Round two, we're gonna go to East Street, have some sushi. I love sushi, it's one of my favorite meals. Having dinner together is just gonna be a great way to get more intimate with the guys, uh, find out some more things about their personal life, get to know them a little better. Oh, you look outstanding. Woo. Outstanding. Oh, you look great. Nice. Love that. Ow! Oh, Sexy woman. Mwah. Good, how are you doing? Great. That's a very nice, yes, very sharp too. style. Very nice. I like that belt. When I saw her coming down the street in her evening dress, you know, I really was shocked. I mean, she looked great. I mean, she she really uh, took my breath away. She looked really, really good. I was very impressed. Have you ever yeah. had a Philadelphia roll, a, a California roll with cream cheese before? Uh, no, that's good. no, that's, that, 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 that makes but it you just know a what? touch better. Check this out. So. Salmon is farm raised. What uh -huh. you want to do is go for the toro, <laughs> no, and no, 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 that's no, going to no, be no, more no. like a like more. <laughs> here you go talking about animals again. 
Bro, what are you doing? Here? What do you mean? No, <laughs> you know, just a because on a, pony a Bronco. On a <laughs> I had no idea what he was talking about. He's coming from left field again. You get what you get in a sushi roll. You know, you just chew it up and swallow it. So, anyways, how'd you uh, choose your outfit palette. tonight? Um, I chose my outfit. I wanted something sexy but classy. Mm -hmm. Looks yeah. great. You look very classy. So well, you nailed thank that you. to the team. She's wearing the leather pants. I gotta say, woo! I gotta be a fan of leather pants. All right. So sake bombs. Sake yeah, bombs. Yeah, sake bombs. Do you for like sure. cold or hot sake? I've never had She's sake bombs actually. All right. Thank you very much. Look at this. I'm hurt. I can't believe it. Look at this. No, because you were holding it for me. No, it oh, was the on rock. the counter. No, it it wasn't. I was on my way out. I was going to go, okay, are we ready to go? There it is. Pet did you rock. forget his pet rock? He did. You know, I, I did feel really bad that I had left the rock at the pool. Damien was definitely trying too hard with the pet rock thing, bringing it back again. Like, obviously, she left it uh, back at the resort for a reason. Well, here, let's open up the lid so he can yeah, breathe relax. a little better. So you can, <laughs> let's, let's let him breathe. Oh, oh, there you go. Go. Yeah. 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 I don't think these holes are cutting it very much, you know? Seriously, now that we're at dinner, we can loosen up a little bit, you know? What do you want to know? I want to know Please? what kind of kissers you guys are. That depends. I mean, do you want to find out? <laughs> depends on you, you know? Don't talk sure, about it. Yeah, about yeah, it. Yeah. Whoa! Whoa! Pretty interesting, man. All right. <laughs> When Damien kissed Elizabeth, I seriously, I felt nauseous at the table. I mean, the, the trail of drooly left on her face and everything, I mean, that was disgusting. It wasn't a bad kiss. Um, I was a little shocked, you know, at his forwardness. It was like a charity kiss, as far as I'm concerned. One, two, three. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> it wasn't the smoothest sake bomb I've ever seen, but... You guys are all dressed very nicely. Put a lot of into it. Are you guys high maintenance? I'll answer that in this, like, by saying I am high maintenance in certain situations. Uh -huh. Like, when I'm going downtown, something like that, like, I like to make sure I look good. You know, right. I want to look good. A high maintenance uh, type of guy isn't something a girl's looking for. When Josh uh, said he was high maintenance, you know, I was in disbelief because, first of all, he's got a monobrow and he needs a tweeze. I'm okay, yeah. Seriously, I'm a lightweight, so. Yeah. 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 So, aww, how sweet. Coming a little closer. You know? It is. I'll take care of your pet rock over here. Oh, thanks. Uh, I'm gonna have to relocate now, man. Yeah. So I wanted to move in a little closer to Elizabeth by moving my chair over next to her and, uh, Josh felt it necessary to put his chair right between us. You know, I didn't quite appreciate that very much. I wasn't okay with that. You know, it was it was Aaron's idea. It was his attempt, and Josh just kind of stole the scene. So, do you guys want any of these? Oh, yeah, I, I, was, I, 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 I would one? love to have one, please. <laughs> I'm jealous. Thank you. Thank you. I'm jealous. You want one too? Please. All right. <laughs> oh, elegance, elegance. Class, nice, I like it. He was just being a jackass, basically, as far as I'm concerned. I know you don't know me very well, but sort of along the lines of the kissing question, I have very specific sexual fantasies, and really? none of my none of none of my ex boyfriends have actually ever gotten it because I refuse to actually tell the guy. He has to be able to, you know, figure it out. What, based on what you know of me so far, what do you think my sexual fantasy is? I think you're just wild in bed. I think you were just crazy. You just go out, out, and you're screaming, you're yelling, you're doing all this. Damien is uh, is acting like a complete pimp and uh, and trying to uh, treat Elizabeth like a complete prostitute or a porn star. Oh, I was thinking something maybe. more along the lines of maybe taking you to like a football game, you know, and like after the football game, everybody leaves. You know, it's kind of dark. You know, sitting on the bleachers together, something uh -huh. like that. You know, and find a little little private place or something okay. like that. You know. Did he actually think we were gonna get it on in the bleachers? All right, check it out. Private, yes. Candlelit, bathtub full of champagne and chocolate covered strawberries. As a sexual fantasy, I thought that was textbook. That's, that's the obvious uh, textbook answer, you know? I'm more like uh, a little bit of chocolate over here. <laughs> and start licking right around in this area. Let me see, let me see. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Ooh. The sexiest part of a woman's body. I smell good too. Right? Let me see, is this Damien is a creepy individual. You know, he's putting the moves on Elizabeth way too thick. Way too thick. Beautiful. I mean, Thank you. That notion about the Thank you. What was I whispering Elizabeth here? You know, I don't even remember. It was something romantic, smooth, and charismatic. He proceeded to whisper to me and motion to me under the table that we should go into the bathroom and uh, get it on. It's time for Elizabeth to make another cut. Can you guess who will be eliminated? That Yahoo Damien is cut, for sure. Elizabeth is gonna cut peach fuzz only because 
His overconfidence is his weakness. Damien is getting cut this round. Damien was disgusting and he, he buried himself. I mean, what can I say? That guy is not meant for Elizabeth. Elimidate. <laughs> Who will Elizabeth eliminate next? Damien, Aaron, or Josh? All right, you guys, I had a really good time tonight. Dinner was great. But when it comes down to it, I'm going to have to eliminate Damien. Um, yeah, you were an absolute pig. Seriously, like, okay. yeah, disrespectful, um, kind of over, like inappropriate, like okay. overstepped your boundaries. It's kind of hard for her to call me a pig when she leaned in for a kiss and wanted one. I cut Damien because he shoved his tongue on my throat and then asked me to go get it on with him in the bathroom. It's inappropriate. Damien just crossed the line, offended her, made her feel awkward and uncomfortable. As far as Damien, you know, there's no place for the devil here. Elizabeth honestly didn't make a mistake by cutting me because I'm a free man, I'm ready to move on. Round three, we're gonna stay here at East Street. Um, I'm gonna take him to the other side of the club, though, where there's dancing and music, and hopefully, you know, draw out a bit of a wild side. Can I get some drinks first? Can I order some drinks first? Yeah, let's get some drinks. I'm definitely down for drinks. One, two, three. Two, three. For and the guys, it was their opportunity to show me, you know, what kind of moves they had. Got a little down and dirty, get a little sweaty. It was great. In the middle of uh, the dance, two girls came over, and Josh completely left us and started dancing with two other girls. The guy might be a little bit of a player, he's into himself. What do you think? <laughs> he was trying to kiss me through the stem of a rose, then I had like thorns going in my gums. So, no, I think she wanted that kiss as much as I did. Round three, that's what I've been waiting for all game. I kind of pulled out my ace card in that round, and I think she was uh, pleasantly surprised. <laughs> When I saw Aaron start to take off his shirt, like I decided it was a good idea to, to follow suit. I have control with this button. Oh no! Woo! I need to get a little action. <laughs> this guy was trying to bite on me the whole night, you know, he took all my ideas. Josh really did have a great body, and any guy with a body like that should definitely take off his shirt. Josh is obviously a high maintenance character. Have you ever seen anybody stare in the mirror that long at themselves? I mean, I have. I was in the background, actually. He was always in front, checking himself out. I was, I was, you know, I thought it was inappropriate. Coming up, who will it be? Josh or Aaron? The final cut is next. A limit day. <laughs> you guys, I had a really great time today. You guys are both great guys. But the name of the show is Eliminate, so I'm going to have to eliminate Josh. Wow. And okay. the reason is, Josh, we were very attentive, gentleman-like throughout the whole day. But in round three, what I was really looking for is a guy that would appreciate me for my brains and beauty. And it seemed like you were more appreciating your own beauty. And you were just there for me the whole day. So I just aired it. You know, like it feels like it just kind of fell out like right off my fingertips, you know, like I had it. I'd have to say Aaron was definitely the most attentive to me. You know, Josh was off looking at himself in the mirror and Aaron was just there for me the whole time, so I chose Aaron. Bottom line, if I wasn't giving Elizabeth enough attention, she'll be, uh, she'll be getting plenty of that from Aaron probably too much. <laughs>